What's going on everybody? It's Austin Turner here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I wanted to make a quick video showcasing most of my Scream Mask collection. Um, this is not everything. Um, I still have about five more masks that are on their way to me now. So I'll make an updated video when I get all of that and uh, show you those five masks. But this is what I have on hand. There's about 14 masks here. Not a ton of masks. Um, I'm a quality over quantity type guy, so I'm more focused on uh, the type of pieces I'm getting rather than how many pieces I'm getting. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to talk about these briefly. And uh, I'm going to talk about the Fantastics last because I like to talk about those a lot. So let's start down here. So what we got here is what I call a full set of ultra whites. What we've got here is we've got a standard white, uh, or a standard regular white ultra white. This is a 2015 edition. Uh, one of the better ones because it's not as glossy. And then beside it we have a full set of rare 2019 fluorescents. Uh, they're not ultra rare yet, but they're definitely getting there and the prices for them is getting a little stupid. Um, I managed to grab a set this year. I was gonna grab a set last year, but then I, I was I was like, eh, they'll be fine. They'll be back next year. Well, we got word this year that they actually won't be back. They'll be back in the UK this year, but they're only gonna be back as uh, back stock, which means every copy that they made last year that didn't get sold is getting sent off to the UK, and in the UK, whoever buys it in the UK is gonna you know sell it uh, but that pretty much means that after this year we won't be seeing these anymore uh, or at least we shouldn't as much as I would like us to they're really cool I actually like them I know they utilize the ultra white mold and I'm not a fan of the ultra white myself but I don't know these are just I think these are beautiful um, so I love these to death these are awesome so those are awesome coming down here I have this is a 97 Asus. This is a Scream 3 mask. Very Scream 3 accurate. I love the way this looks. This is the type of mask used in the film. Um, they used two types of masks in that film. A 97 Asus and then they also used an original run black and red tag ghost face mask. I do not have one of those. Although I wish I did. So that's really cool. Over here I have a Asus T-Stamp from the 90s. I'm not sure exactly when. I believe 1998, I want to say. Uh, I don't know much about the T-Stamps, but I've had it for the longest out of any of these ghost face masks. And it's pretty cool. Right here is a 2010 Scream 4 mask. This is basically the type of mask used in Scream 4. Um, so this is really cool. So I like that a lot. It's got the April to June MFG date for 2010. So definitely a Scream 4 mask. Um, but I love it. The only thing I don't like about it is how shiny it is. But these masks were shinier back or in that time. So it is what it is. Alright, moving on to my wall. These are pretty cool. So right here we have another 97 Asus. This one happens to be mint condition and tagged. Um... This was uh, given to me by a buddy. He helped me out with this. Super, super awesome. I love that mask to death. Very beautiful. Again, another Scream 3 piece. Scream 3 holds a special place in my heart because it was the first, not only the first horror film that I've ever seen, but the first Scream film that I've ever seen. So, I should have said that backwards. It's not only the first Scream film that I've ever seen, but it's also the first horror film that I've ever seen. And uh, so, Scream 3 just holds a special place in my heart. Beside it, we have a rare uh, 2017, I believe, uh, metallic white ghost face mask. These were never actually supposed to be released widely. I don't think they were ever even supposed to leave the factory. In fact, the tags have black tape covering up certain logos because these were never supposed to leave the factory. You can see the Fun World logo is supposed to be right there, but it's covered up. Um, so that's a really cool mask. Uses the metallic mold, but it's all white. So that's really cool. Up here, we have another metallic. 
This one is a 2012, uh, yeah, 2012 purple. So that's really cool. It was the first year that they switched to these uh, metallic molds. Um, so that's really cool. I actually have one of the five masks that's coming is a 2011 green metallic, which actually utilizes the Asus EU mold. So that's going to be really interesting to see. So I'm excited about that. Should have that in a few days. Then moving up to my rare pieces. Let me sit up here and get situated. Um, right there is an ultra white. That was a 2019 ultra white that I completely destroyed. And I've just decided to keep it just because why not. Right up there we have a fearsome faces or a Gen 2 poly shroud. Um, it is in a baggie on the wall. Uh, mostly because I didn't have room to put it anywhere else and it doesn't have a tag on it so I figured it would look best in a baggie so that's really cool and then right here I've got a this is an awesome awesome piece this is my grail piece this is my generation one fantastic faces ghost face mask on a bust um, with a sparkle hood done by scream robes on Instagram go check them out this mask was given to me by Douglas Little. Uh, well, it wasn't just given. I had to pay for it. But this mask um, is a special one. Holds a special place in my heart. Holds a special place in his heart. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very beautiful mask. And when I got this mask, I made, I made a, uh, a pact with myself that I was going to get the rest of the set for the Gen 1s. And there's five total variants of the Weeping Ghost mask in the, in the Gen 1 variants. And that is the Black Shroud, which is what you see, and then the White Shroud, and then the Pink, Green, and Orange. And awesome enough, we've got the Black Shroud, we've got the White Shroud, and the Pink, Green, and Orange, coming from Mr. Douglas Little as well, is on its way. So that's awesome. But that's my Ghostface Scream 1 bust. I have the Scream tape uh, standing beside it to kind of show uh, that it's from Scream, but it's really, really cool. I love this piece so much. I mean, just just look at that. I'm sorry, but that is amazing. That is just Scream 1 all the way. And I kind of have him looking downward, kind of, uh, kind of like he was looking at Tatum in the garage scene. I just think that's such a scary look, so I love it. And then beside it is what, uh, what Douglas would say is the creme de la creme. This one, of course, he would, he would say that about the pink, which the pink I love, and I can't wait to get that in my hands. But this is my favorite of all of them. Uh, this is another grail piece. I, I know I throw the grail word around a lot, but pretty much if it's a Gen 1 and it's mint, it's a grail. <laughs> so this is my mint white shroud. This guy took forever to find. I, I had to go from hell to back to find this guy. I searched for years, and this guy is mint condition. He's completely clean. The shroud is completely white. He is the best white shroud I've ever laid eyes on, in my opinion. And I love him to death. He's awesome. So there you go. I Like I said, I have five masks on the way. And those masks are... The pink, green, and orange Gen 1 fluorescence, which will complete my Gen 1 set and thus complete the biggest part of my collection. And then I have an RDS coming, which is going to be really cool. And then, of course, that green 2011 metallic. And who knows? By the next few weeks, I may have several more on the way. You never know. But for now, that's all of my ghost face masks. Like I said, I don't have a ton of them. But I'm a quality over quantity type guy. As you can see, I, ch I tend to go for a little more of the rarer pieces. Um, the pieces that aren't just easy to find everywhere. So, there it is. I'll make an updated video when I get my other pieces in. Until then, take it easy.